Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 once more after a very exciting episode. We have the first passenger line now on its way with over a million in profit and going upwards there. Now the thing is it's full, it's full every time so there is just a huge demand for this one here. So what I'm going to do is we are of course going to expand it now. Um, I do have the suburban there again, with this we would have then a mediocre uh, capacity though, or mediocre performance for this and this means that the the speed is actually going down a bit we can check it out as well on flat terrain it's still at 90 kilometers an hour on medium terrain it's also 90 kilometers an hour so that means that we basically should be fine as it is with that right with we have a good performance here we can actually go with 90 kilometers an hour on high as well no, actually not even on high terrain right so this is still something here so 69 seconds 125 seconds and this was it this makes the whole thing hmm. reaching 90 kilometers it would take six kilometers no top speed for slope this should be fine let's add it it's only problematic for um higher terrain right but we're still keeping the 90 kilometers an hour with a second train car that we have now added here but that's definitely the limit then of this locomotive here right that's 176 uh, passengers we can transport now both ways and if that is at maximum capacity we can then add a second train right that goes then back and forth with the other one as well which should then just work as well and then then we'll probably need another locomotive it's coming into into the station here and yeah it's almost going to be full but i'm not expecting it to be full every time now There it is, netting in some profit. It's taking quite some time now to unload those passengers and get the new ones on board. So that means, yeah, the loading times are just increasing with that. Lowering the profit a bit, but with increased passenger count, um, that should then also be negated. Those lines are very profitable now within the city, right? So the bus lines feeding then the, the train. And I'm going to add a third bus here to the, uh, to the Molden one. And Molden, by the way, is growing towards 600 people right now. And Brightling Sea actually has arrived at 600 already. That's also something to note. As these cities grow, of course, more people will want to transport uh, between the cities. The molded food pressing processing plant, in the meantime, actually leveled up again to level 3 now. So in this case here, we have no and not enough grain anymore. Transport is fine, but the production shipment is lacking. And we can also see that we do need more vehicles on the line here to transport to, to the city, to feed those cities. And for Molden, I'm also going ahead and add two more. That's all the food. And then we can actually think about a third city that we can supply with this. However, we need the grain first. So these here are not enough anymore. We now need the third grain farm that we have close by. That's this one. For this one, we're going to need a new road once more. So I'm going with a medium country road. And we're probably going to have a drop off, drop off somewhere then here. right? And this is where the line goes out then to that area and then continues further onwards to this one let's actually make this one as close as possible here we can actually get rid of this road then All right to keep it to keep it simple this is not really looking nice here so let's just make sure that we actually make a nice a nice curve there as well this is still looking crappy let's try it again oh there is actually the building in the way then this is fine, right? That's a better curve. Can we upgrade this one here? Yes, we can. Perfect. This one's disappearing, actually. Yeah, it's disappearing now anyway, so no problem here. Going in, and let's just create us another bus depot then, a truck station somewhere over here. This is really just for grain. And then an unload station somewhere here. Once again, also not interfering with any other traffic that we have, and just more grain, basically. And this is Grain Molden 3. Well, let's just add some more trucks now to this to this area here. And probably starting with make it four for starters. There you go. Off it goes. A new grain supplier has been found. And with that, the production should continue. And there is also now the first 160 people coming in with one train. And I just want to see 
how profitable that is exactly. Yeah, that's a million per turn now. Look at that, 1.1 million. And yeah, unloading all of them and the train is going to be full once more. And with another turn filled, it's the first train that's actually producing over 2 million in profit. And once again, it's going to be quite full for this turn. So that's fine. Even if the other car is only half full, um, that's still perfectly fine, right? And off it goes. Now with that, <laughs> another problem occurs. And that's the bus lines in Molden are now completely overloaded, of course, with so many people coming in. And also the Martino bus line is full. That's a surprise to me, right? So this one here is also very profitable. And let's just uh, triple the capacity for the Martino um, Molden one that we have. And Martino, yeah, Martino is actually just a small city over here. That is now growing though at 60% right now. And of course, with that many more passenger transportation, then it will grow even further. But there's a lot of people that want to get to this beautiful coastline yeah, village that we have over there that we might also want to grow into something. This all brings me back again to our original town deal um, and my deal production line of fuel. Um, and here we are actually reaching a a tipping point right now so we cannot grow anymore the fuel refinery and we want to grow it of course because we want to keep everything here profitable and yeah also the amount of oil then getting transported back and forth is getting reduced a bit because simply there is not more demand for fuel and we want to get this up though so we need a third customer to grow this one deal is fine right so it's getting in a lot of fuel already so this is almost yeah almost full uh vagabond is also getting a lot of fuel in could be a bit more but for now it's fine and that means we need a new customer and we found it a bit further away lizard we have down here it's the only other city close by that would require fuel that's still within reach and it's going to be tricky though so we definitely will need to have a rather yeah a rather efficient country road here this one is not efficient Right, so let's pause the game there. Uh, we have trucks though, buses on the on the road here, so I need to wait for them to, to pass and then we can we can actually make this. Perfect, and then we can we absolutely need to pause the game. Otherwise the whole line gets reset. And in this case here, let's get rid of that. And probably also here. Too many curves. Alright, definitely don't wanna have this. And then we can just go ahead now and get us this on the way by the way there is still a normal one let's let's go ahead and have a medium country road right away always increasing then the top speed here for the new vehicles that's going to be very important then let's just try and make this work there is a tunnel here but the tunnel is necessary all right with that we can actually keep it straight if we want to expand those highways here and this makes the connection then right over there there was a million here right just to get over there and then we have here of course, we don't want to go into Kosinski, so we're going to make this highway around Kosinski, just as we did previously with other cities. And we can make then here the connection right to this area where there is then a country road that goes over that bridge into Lizard. And here also, I would like to, just for the heck of it, because it's all a foundation for the future. So the, the additional work that we do here is just... It's just going to pay off over time. And here we're just going to make that highway go right straight to that um, bridge that we have over there without much of a curvature there. This is looking a bit strange, granted. Let's just make this one curve as well. Perfect. All right, so this makes the whole thing a bit more efficient. And of course, yeah, with that, we almost have it. There we can make another connection now with... Kusinski, because that of course leads me to having also a passenger line between Kusinski and Lizard, because we want to of course continue now growing the Lizard as well. So Lizard gets a, a normal bus line then, right, so right somewhere here in the center. And we also get a truck unload for the fuel in the fuel area, so right over here. Let's actually make it here so that we, so that my buses can actually turn around quickly again somewhere. Uh, somewhere here, that's fine. Right, and let's go ahead and create us those two lines. First of all, Kosinski to Lizard. Let's keep the name Lizard, I like it. <laughs> and then we create a line for the fuel from Deal over there, Deal Exchange. This, however, requires, now, of course, some additional 
modulation and we're going to make these platforms here a bit bigger and we're then going to add another platform here and let's actually just go ahead and make this even longer because the volume is only going to increase from now on and then we have deal exchange it should choose the available platform automatically it does that perfect right and then we go to lizard this is going to be tricky i wonder if this is getting really profitable we'll see and we're going to have fuel lizard on this one what we need now is once again some vehicles so let's go ahead with that this is then the fuel lizard one and then we're going to need yeah still the only joist that i really have here the gag now to connect those two cities let's make three for that for now and this is kusinski lizard then as well the only thing i would still like to add then here is fuel lizard needs to be full we're going ahead and make this one full at all times oh this was actually quick and with that the transport goes up and poof the fuel refinery wants to level up even though we haven't delivered a single piece of fuel yet to lizard it's already waiting though at the cargo platform so yeah let's let's just go ahead and uh, assign a few more vehicles to that because demand is just there this one is leveling up and with that we consume more oil again which then leads to more oil being transported on this route here um yeah i'm not going to upgrade the trains yet we do have the crocodile locomotive we could increase capacity by train travel by a third but i don't think we need it at this point right also it's very expensive on the maintenance side And there it leveled up. Level 5 is actually also within reach once we transport enough fuel to a lizard. Um, this will definitely then level up already. But processing speed has been increased now. This one we definitely will need to increase. There's just a lot of fuel waiting here on deal fuel 2. And we probably should rename this one too then here. So we got the fuel 2 that goes... That's pretty sure the route to Vagabond. Yep. I'm going to rename this one to fuel Vagabond. By now, all the platforms are fully utilized, and I'm pretty sure we can upgrade this one here pretty soon as well. Shipment is not that high, even though we are stuffed with full. Uh, that's the supplier side. We only have one oil refinery right now delivering oil, and I think there's also not a lot of oil waiting here, right? No, not really. So... I think for this one to grow, we actually need a second oil refinery providing oil for it. We would have one over there. But I'm not doing this for the moment. I think level 4 is just fine for now. All the platforms are fully utilized. So that not there's not much more that I need to do really for the moment. Now, what we need to do actually is the next passenger line, right? We are sitting at 24 million right now. Um, yeah, let's also use some of that money to continue paying back my, my debt. So we are going down to 12 million now on the debt side. Which is then of course lowering also my interest rates. And I would like to start now here because this is also going to be a pretty nice city area then right so deal kosinski vagabond and we want to grow these cities further and one way of doing this is of course with connecting them by train they are big enough now so that train travel here is possible problem is it's complicated in this area so let's just check it out we have a huge mountain here uh, we need to take a turn here to kosinski without a tunnel hopefully so we can use the train here the train goes then in through hmm, this area takes a turn like this all right so that should be working out so let's get rid of no let's build a street and let's try to have the street working like that so that we can have the station next to it oh this is tricky there is the food processing this is new unfortunately this just planted itself there and we need to wait for this to, to go away again if we will not want to use it i don't want to use it there is no grain close by anyway it probably was not the best decision for this food processing plant to, to be in this area. Um, I really, really need that station somewhere here central though. And we need to make it straight. So something like that. Yeah, and the, the city will just build around itself then just fine here. And let's just make this work somehow. Um, all this passenger yeah with all the tracks enabled this is not going to work out right so i need to i need to make a smaller one here and have it work like that with a smaller one for the moment that would be over here but look at that we will not be able to get in all the, the buildings with that all right with a bit of city restructuring this is possible right so the, the highway is now a bit more direct into deal 
and here we have the outbound traffic. The only thing here is I will need to delete some buildings, but that's okay in the greater thing, in the greater process, uh, well, area, right? And we probably will have to go through both streets here. Hmm, this is nasty. Well, trying to maintain max speed. Uh, let's just make sure that we get rid of this road here. And these buildings that will cost me a bit, of course. All right, but with that, come on, 120, there you go. There we got the 120 working. And this goes around then here to, yeah, 120. In just as narrow and tightly as possible around the, the fuel refinery here, towards the highway system there. Oh yeah. Yes, we can make this work here, perfect. Right, always with 120. So this way is fine now. Uh, let's just add the second track to this as well. Nice. And on the other side, this should be easy then going now towards Vagabond. So this is the, the first real one that we're going to use. Kosinski is too small yet, right? Is it too small? Yeah, 240 might be possible, might be possible. Uh, let's just see here. We do need a good location there once again for the station. Coming out here so we can make it use like this, yeah. The curve should be fine. Also, we want to connect in other cities, right? So there is Lizard down there that at some point I want to connect with Vagabond as well. So I think the most sense it would be for the station to look like this towards the towards the city, right? It needs to be somewhere here. So this should be should be rather simple. Let's get rid of this road here. This road is not even being used, so we can get rid of it for now. But now it's easy, right? Later on we would need to delete a lot of buildings, which makes the whole thing not so easy anymore. And I would also like to go with a big station here because this is once again going to be a big city. And with that, a big hub. Right now it's looking a bit, it might be looking a bit out of place, right? These big stations there. But it's going to make sense later on. There we have it. And now the only challenge here will be to connect those with, while maintaining a, a good, a good speed, right? So that's okay. That's a hundred going out of the, the station and then towards the deal. And yeah, this is tanking performance massively right now. There's a lot to calculate. We're going to have this high speed train right beside the highway all the time. Right, so we're creating now those bigger traffic areas. Uh, there's going to be a bridge here necessary. For the bridges, it's also important to choose then a high speed uh, bridge later on. Um, here, for example, the, the standard one is actually pretty small. Uh, Stonebridge is 90 kilometers top speed, and then we got the, the highest, uh, the higher bridges here with um, higher speed levels. Do we really need a bridge here? That's the question. Uh, I think it will be necessary to have a bridge here. But now we can use the dirt. No, actually, we can make it use without a bridge. There is a bridge still necessary here, it seems. Oh yeah. Very well, there we have it, the next uh, railway now. So two tracks we have, right? It's going into a tunnel then here, our first tunnel. We need to do this to in order to maintain top speed while not building ridiculous high bridges. It goes in, that below the highway, comes in out on the other side where it's getting a bit flat again. And then just on a normal slope here into Vagabond. Perfect. And we can maintain 120 all throughout it, except for this curve here leading into the station. But the train is usually slowing down already when it gets into the station, so this should not be a big deal. And let's go ahead and also build us here some merges. And the same thing here. And once again, we're just going to use the same train, really, that we've already had. Let's also go ahead and add a waypoint. Once again, right side of traffic I would like to have. Let's have it in the tunnel there. Why not? And with that, yeah, we can actually build it. The only thing we need is a train depot. Go ahead and add one. Uh, might actually... Those train depots are my biggest problem all the time. I never really know where to build them. It's always a problem for me. Uh, let's have it here because the train could also then switch tracks in the station. And here we just enter now the main line, right? And then we have the mergers into the, the station anyway. So here it can switch tracks then anyway. Right. And the cool thing is the city will then just build around it, right? So these tracks it will then just disappear into a bigger city as it continues its growth then. Let's build the line really. So this is going to be deal 
to Vagabond. There you go. And let's just make sure. Oh, wait a second. Yep. From deal, we use the waypoint here. Waypoint 1 going into Vagabond and then using waypoint 2 on the other side of the track so that we always use uh, the right side of traffic all the way to deal branch. And this is deal Vagabond train. And that's it. Let's build this once again, the same locomotive. We have 15 million still on the account. So we can quite easily do this. Uh, once again, the BR, it's a powerhouse, power horse, and a suburban that we can actually also do here for 3.2 million. That's actually really cheap, right? And out it gets of the train depot. Now, once again, we'll also need to add feeders to those. And I will also need to get rid of the deal vagabond dust, uh, bus system. So this here is no longer going to work for us. And with that, we can also get rid of the, the line that is connecting that. Because, of course, we want to get the traffic into the into this one here. Yeah, growing it is. Also, deal gets its skyscrapers. <laughs> and here, we just now need to have, then, once again, some proper uh, bus stations going to the station uh, through the city. So we could have one here then as well, one here, and then to the other side where the bus takes a turn, right? And that is then the new line here that is connecting now deal central. And back again. Perfect. And this is deal bus. Whoops. Thank you very much for this notification. Resetting my... <laughs> My line here. So deal bus one it is. And yeah, we have we should have the depot rather close by. There it is. So add now my Gaganaus once again. So let's start with two. And we're going to get them into deal bus one. Feeding that station now with passengers. And the same thing we can do in Vagabond. There you go. Create it going through the city. And once again, we just need Yeah, let's go ahead with two Gaganaus there once again. That are going to work now within Vagabond. Uh, back up on bus one, there it is. Because there's going to be, of course, several bus lines at some point once those cities grow. Right now, uh, one station here in the center can actually almost take in the whole city. <laughs> no props. All right, and 400, we are growing. So this is speeding up it now. Connecting cities with train is actually giving it a nice boost as well to the growth. All right, and there it is now. On its way, just along the highway as well. Traveling, already some passengers on board and hopefully netting in some nice profits for us. Quite the scenery route here that we have. And what we can see is the gate is quickly adjusting. There's 50, 60 people now waiting on the bus station to uh, to the main station, right? And there's also quite a lot of people waiting over here. There was just a bus, so it's 28 people that were waiting out here. It's actually the suburbs of this. And the bus is already going to be almost full when it gets to the central station, so we definitely will need at least a third bus working here in deal to get all these people then to the, to the train station. That's the important thing here. Speaking about traffic and cities growing around stations, we have such a case here. So there is the, the main station that we have in Malden, or Malden, right? And the city is already building, so the, the buildings are very close to the, to the station already, engulfing it. And there's also a new street here appearing now that wants to build around the station then. The problem is here, this could lead to a problem of my of my station going outbound, right? So at some point we'll want to uh, increase the, the size of the, the station there. So already, let's go ahead and get us this train line out there, this track system there. And as you can see, this is not possible here anymore. Too much slope we have. And it's probably because that, that street here is, yep, causing a bit of a problem here, right? So what we need to do is we need to get rid of that street again before it grows and before it gets more complicated to do all of this. Let's just do it now. So we're going to make a perfect straight line here with 120 speed. Top speed going out of the station immediately. A bit further perhaps. 
up to this point here just to make sure that we do get all of this before the city starts to grow around that. City growth continues to accelerate. Brightling Sea is on its way to 700 people now. Uh, target growth rating is 200% almost thanks to the transportation sector as we can see that is giving it a boost of 70%. Also, and that's pretty, pretty nifty, if you upgrade the roads to a certain destination, right, um, you actually also lead or you actually boost the private sector as well. So the private transportation here is actually also getting boosted by 40% thanks to having more efficient road networks to the cities. So we could even go down to the basics and just build better roads to connect the cities and even that would boost the, the growth rating. I love this. Absolutely. How many ways you can boost for those cities. So many people. Oh god, we need to have a fourth bus here, a bus here in the Brighton Sea bus line. There's a hundred waiting, right? And the buses are also coming in almost full every time to the station. So this is continuing to grow. Trams or better buses would actually work out um, here to solve this problem. I was looking with the food processing plant in Malden and or Malden. Let's call it Malden. And what we can see here is, first of all, the food to melt in itself is rather full. So let's go ahead and add some three more cars to this. And then we have the shipment problem here. So there's still not enough grain coming in, all right, if we want to continue growing this. Um, we do need more trucks on the grain melt and three route. Let's add some two more because there is lots of grain waiting. I was looking with this one. This is actually fine. This is also fine, right? So there is enough. These are full capacity here. Right, so these farms are working at full capacity. They can't grow, unfortunately. So even if the shipment is at 200 of 200, uh, the transport is at 100%, that's it, right? So they cannot produce more than that. Um, we still have one more farm up there. And this is what I would also most likely would like to use now. Uh, it's a bit complicated getting to it. It's in the mountains. And oh, this is actually really nice looking there. This mountain road that we have going through that. There's going to be some nice bus mountain routes there as well at some point. For now though, we need to make more money. We are only at the beginning. And let's just have a look here. I can make it more direct. Going then to another unload station here. Alright, so we have one unload here already. And I would like to have another unload now here then as well. That is going to the farm, to the food processing there. And the depot is... Hopefully as far away as possible. And we're here. This is working out already. And let's build this. Meld the north to the drop-off point here. And this is going to be, I think we called it grain, right? Yep. So this is grain meld and four. And with that I know that we have now used or that we are actually having now four meld and feeders, grain feeders, right? And that's the end of it. I think that will be then enough to fully boost it to the highest level. We'll see. There we have it, and there's definitely going to be quite the demand for this grain, meld and four it is. And let's actually also manage the line so that it always goes with full load. That's important. It's a long distance and I don't want this to travel empty. Meanwhile, the fuel refinery has leveled up to the highest level, tier five, level five. We got two full factory buildings here now. It's also a lot of oil that's being processed here and a lot of oil that's waiting then to transportation for the cities. And this should make the train also full again in both ways. So the crocodile is a bit closer again to the requirement here that I, I set myself. Perfect. Meanwhile, how's it looking with the train line? <laughs> it's full. It's already turning profit. The Vagabond train is also closing in on the million. I love passenger trains. They're perfect for it, right? And this is actually full. Um, and soon we'll need a second train car for this as well. And then a second train, and a third train, and a fourth train, and more cities, of course, as the whole network is growing. We're in 1924. Yeah, I think at some point now planes might be necessary. And we should still also awaken a few more cities for planetary travel, that is. Stay tuned to Transport Fever 2 on very hard settings. Onwards.